Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Monday afternoon. Welcome to Whiteboard Weather on this 24th day of August. Hope you're having a great afternoon and dancing on the ceiling yourself. <laughs> it's a warm, humid afternoon, that's for sure. Some of us have seen some passing rain showers, and there still are. Looks like a handful of some showers moving through parts of the area as of 3 o'clock this afternoon. We'll get a quick check of radar coming up in just a moment. And, of course, your full whiteboard weather forecast for the next several days. Simply accurate, no hype. And the latest on Tropical Storm Marco and Tropical Storm Laura. Got a lot of ground to cover today. Lots of weather to talk about, and you're going to get it all without any of the other stuff that you don't want. Uh, so, without further ado, let's get into it for this afternoon. And we start with our sponsor for Monday afternoon, Whiteboard Weather. You've heard me talk about Wetgo at GetGo many times, and specifically the Unlimited wash program it is literally one low monthly price for you to wash as often as you like so you can save time and money and it's available at all 40 plus wet go locations across the tri-state area when we say unlimited truly it is unlimited in my case i got my car washed on saturday it rained on my car and I had all kind of water spots on it. So I took it back through the car wash today to get it all cleaned up again. You can do that. You can do it multiple times a day. It is unlimited. There's no contract required. You can cancel at any time and you pick the plan that is right for you. It starts as little as $14.99 a month for the clean wash. If you purchase that one on its own, it's seven bucks. So if you get the car washed three times in a month, it's more than paid for itself. You can sign up online, pick up your tag at any wet go location, and then you just scan the tag and you head on through. It is quick, it is easy, and it is economical. It is the unlimited wash program from wet go at get go. So check it out at the wet go near you. Now here's a look at current conditions across the area. We have numbers ranging from 78 in Butler. They probably saw some rain rather recently. Beaver Falls is 87, so you flip those numbers around. It's 80 in Pittsburgh, 82 in Indiana, 75 in Latrobe, and 86 in Washington. Those dew point values running at least in the mid-60s. You can see Pittsburgh has a dew point of 71. So does Butler, so there is a lot of atmospheric moisture which is to say it is humid outside, but you probably already figured that one out by now. <laughs> Here's a look at radar. As of three o'clock this afternoon, at least five after three, you can see a couple showers coming across Indiana County with some heavy downpours moving toward Indiana. Also a couple of uh, cells of activity moving through parts of Westmoreland County and also some rain falling in Fayette County between Uniontown and Connellsville, so right along and just east of Route 119. Still at risk to see a couple more showers popping as we head through the rest of the afternoon and into the early evening, but generally things are going to quiet down after sunset, so if you don't get a shower between now and about 8 o'clock, chances are you won't see one today or tonight, but you'll be at risk again tomorrow. Here's Tuesday morning. You'll notice that cold front just to the north. That's going to sort of ease down in our area or sag into the area tomorrow afternoon. This is Wednesday afternoon. You can see the boundary laid out across the area. That will be the trigger and the spark for some scattered showers and maybe a stronger thunderstorm tomorrow. There is a slightly greater potential not only to see heavy downpours, but some gusty winds with a more of a widespread triggering mechanism. Because of that possibility, I show you this. We are in a slight risk category, the yellow shaded area, for a strong to potentially severe thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon. 
Again, I think that would be probably between about two and about six o'clock would be the best time frame tomorrow afternoon. So F Y I. All right, let's get the update on the tropics. First, starting with Marco. Now, the good news here is Marco is weakening. It is uh, really, it's being downgraded by this evening. It's probably gonna be down to a depression. So it is a weak tropical storm or soon to be a tropical depression. What that means is it's mainly gonna be a rainmaker, not much wind here as it moves across southern Louisiana tonight and through the day tomorrow. So this is not going to be the uh, the daunting storm that it potentially could have been a couple of days ago. But again, it's going to produce probably an inch or two of rain across southern parts of Louisiana. Now, let me give you uh, the update on Laura. Let me pull up that information for you. Uh, and you'll see that that is going to pose, uh, looks like a greater threat potentially in the longer range. Let me pull up the cone of certainty or uncertainty as the case could be. And you'll see that Laura, at least according to the National Hurricane Center, is expected to strengthen as it crosses into the Gulf of Mexico. You can see by eight o'clock Tuesday, that H means it's expected to become at least a category one hurricane and then track toward the Texas-Louisiana state line with a potential landfall coming Wednesday night into early Thursday morning. Now, I have checked uh, a lot of the computer model information, and I think it's totally in the realm of possibility that this comes even further to the west. I think Galveston Bay is really at play here, so I would expect maybe a little bit more of a further jog west, and this could be a landfall in extreme southeast Texas before all is said and done, something to watch uh, over the next couple of days. And then you can see the remnants will track inland and could be in Southern West Virginia by Saturday morning, which could mean uh, a little bit of a beneficial rain, more of a widespread rain for parts of our area Friday night and early in the day on Saturday. Uh, of course, for a local story, that's something to watch carefully over the next several days because as you know, there hasn't been a lot of rain around here uh, this summer. Matter of fact, um, if I can recall correctly, I put this statistic up last night on WTA. I counted all the days from June the 1st through April the 23rd, which was yesterday. And it was an 84-day period. And over that 84 days, this summer, we had seen 25 days with measurable rain. Uh, and a total of about seven plus, a little over seven inches of total rainfall. Compare that with last summer, same, same time frame, June 1st through uh, August the 23rd. And uh, we had seen like 46 days with measurable rain. So almost three weeks more in terms of days of measurable rain. And the rain total was more than double, it was almost 16 inches. Uh, so we're less than half, not only in the number of days, but the overall rain from uh, last summer. So um, that was just an FYI. All right, let's hit up some national days and birthdays very quickly. Uh, born on this day, how about Cal Ripken Jr., Vince McMahon of the WWE, the man, the myth, the legend behind the WWE, uh, comedian Dave Chappelle, and actress Ann Archer. It's National Peach Pie Day today, and it's National Waffle Day today as well. All right, let's hit it up. Let's get our local forecast. Simply accurate, no hype. Uh, yes, I meant August 23rd was yesterday. Did I say the 24th? Today's the 24th. I knew that. If I misspoke, I apologize. Somebody pointed that out. All right, let's check it out. We're brought to you on this Monday afternoon by Wetgo at GetGo. Take a look at that Wetgo Unlimited program when you get a chance or just swing on by a Wetgo and get your car washed. Speaking of which, I've been authorized by the fine folks at Wetgo to start giving away some free car washes, singular car washes. So stay tuned for that over the rest of this week. You want to get your car washed for free? I'm going to hook you up. Compliments of Wetgo at Getgo. Sunset tonight, 8.05. Sunrise tomorrow, 6.39. And we're still waxing our crescent with regards to the moon phase. Again, tropical storm Marco is weakening, likely to be downgraded to a tropical depression 
by this evening, and it's going to be mainly a rainmaker for Louisiana. Tropical Storm Laura is going to be strengthening, likely to become a hurricane in the next 24 to 36 hours, with a landfall near the Texas-Louisiana border Wednesday night, uh, potentially as a Category 1 hurricane at the least. Uh, all right, here's a look at our forecast here at home tonight. Still going to leave in the chance of a spotty early evening shower. Otherwise, partly cloudy, a muggy night, 69, the low temperature. Tomorrow, clouds and sunshine. It's going to get a bit breezy at times. Tomorrow afternoon, 86. And that afternoon thunderstorm chance, again, slightly better chance to see a strong thunderstorm tomorrow, which could produce not only heavy rain, but some gusty winds. Then tomorrow night, fair skies, rain showers clear out, 66, the low temperature. On Wednesday, 84 degrees, partly sunny. Still cannot totally rule out an isolated shower in the afternoon, but most places will likely be dry on Wednesday, as well as Thursday. We warm it up to 87, a warm, humid day. And then depending on the remnants of that tropical system, that will determine how widespread the shower chance will be on Friday. I think there will be some showers around regardless, but if those remnants were to come a little closer, the showers would become more widespread. 82 the high temperature. And Saturday, uh, starting off with some morning rain showers, then some afternoon sunshine and a high temperature of 80 degrees. So that is a look at your Monday afternoon whiteboard brought to you by Wetgo at GetGo. Visit them. Get your car washed. Get cleaned up. Get ready to roll. All right. Um, I think I covered all the bases that I needed to cover this afternoon. I said there was a lot of information. Uh, so hopefully you were able to uh, follow along carefully to get uh, the info that you needed. It's going to do it for today. Um, as always, I ask that you please share whiteboard weather with your Facebook friends. Just click the little share button. It's not hard. It's very easy and it gets our message out to many more people. So I rely on you for that and I remind you frequently and I always appreciate it. Uh, I always appreciate when uh, folks send some stars. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow, as always, with whiteboard weather. So uh, your weather updates coming your way tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your Monday, everyone. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Peace. Have a great day. See ya.